Yes! Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. It's the final chapter in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And it is the 2003 Best Picture winner, which is the reason why I'm reviewing it. Because for those of you who don't know, I've been doing a series, actually, since I've started this channel, where from 1996 to present day, I'm reviewing all the Best Picture winners, uh, giving you my thoughts on if it should won, or, you know, also on top of that, you know, my thoughts as a whole, not just if it should have won or if it didn't deserve it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with Lord of the Rings Return of the King, which third chapter in, in the trilogy that was groundbreaking. It's still being referenced today, 15 years later. It uh, basically is the reason why we have the great Game of Thrones show. Um, it sounds weird saying the great Game of Thrones show, but hey, it is what it is. Um the third chapter also does such a great job of having the focus be on the intense action for Middle Earth, like the battle scenes with like Gandalf, Aragorn, uh, Gimli, Legolas, and then also uh, you have Sam and Frodo trying to destroy the ring with Gollum. Uh, so there's the whole cross editing that happens a lot of the time, and it's brilliant uh, because, in my opinion, this is the fully realized climax of this trilogy because the first and second Lord of the Rings they're great they are I mean I for me the order goes three one two um I like how the first one it focuses on the drama getting to know all the characters um you know they're very little action but then you have the second one which you get to know some more characters but it is really all about that build up to uh Helm's Deep and that whole huge battle um Return of the King, in my opinion, it is the perfect combination of the two films, first two films. It combines the best elements, and in my opinion, it delivers a near masterpiece. Um, because there are a couple flaws I'll talk about with Return of the King. Uh, but not just yet, because this is a film that deserves to be praised for uh, all the stuff that it has to offer. I love the acting in this film. I think that it's... Really good performances. They're very strong, especially um, the focus of Sam, uh, Frodo, and Gollum. Those three are just excellent, and particularly Sam, played by Sean Austin, does such a great job in the role. And uh, I think, looking back, he should have deserved uh, an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. He was, he was incredible, uh, very emotional, and getting to know him and his arc is also incredible. But that's all the characters in, in this final chapter. They all get their arc that is both satisfying and a great farewell to this uh, final chapter, uh, which in my opinion, it's the best because not only does it deliver the goods in the action category, but it delivers the goods in the drama category. Um, and the interwoven editing just is incredible, particularly the battle of like Pelennor Fields. I think that is really a standout. That and uh, the ending battle where that's going on as well as trying to destroy the ring. Um, I also love this film from a technical aspect. The score, the sound design, um, the costume design, the makeup, it is all incredible. Visual effects, 95% of them are really, really good. There is like that 5% where it hasn't really aged as well as I would have liked. But, I mean, again, it's 15 years ago and... Uh, CGI was still kind of like getting perfected. Uh, it was, you know, I mean, you had the Star Wars prequels. Enough said. Like those, those films were garbage. So, I think for Return of the King for 2003 coming out, I think it 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 still holds up in terms of visual effects, and it was groundbreaking for its time. And again, for the most part, it holds up. Uh, there are so many things that I love about this film. It really is a near masterpiece. But what? What makes it not a masterpiece, in my opinion, is the fact that towards the end, I would say the last half hour, it it builds to this basically 30 minutes of every single character almost having their little end arc. And I'll, I'll further explain that, but like it's the type of thing where you have, I'd say, two hours and like 40 minutes of rock solid cross cut editing that just gets to a single point and it's like okay we could have ended it right there but they just continued onwards and i get why they did it because again you spent nine ten hours with these characters so they should all have their arc 
But I think it's just... I think it might just be a flaw in the script where they could have stopped at the first ending. Because there are multiple endings to this film. And while I understand why they did that, and I even respect, because again, it's 9-10 hours of trying to fulfill these character arcs. At the same time, from a pacing perspective, it just kind of feels a little uneven towards the end, which stinks because it's like, for the most part, it is almost a perfectly paced film. But again, it's a minor nitpick uh, because that is really all I can say other than a little bit of the visual effects arm. It's great, but you know what? It is still a thousand times better than the Hobbit trilogy, which is garbage. But I feel as though the final 30 minutes of Return of the King, I feel as though Peter Jackson was like, that is the best part about this film, and he kind of ran with it with the Hobbit trilogy. So I think that's also just kind of why the last 30 minutes kind of like, it, it sits, it doesn't really sit too well with me, but it's not like, oh my goodness, this is the worst thing ever. It's just something I feel indifferent about, which is a shame because... I feel as though, again, it could have been the masterpiece that I always thought it was. So instead, I'll be giving uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King a 4.75 out of 5 star rating. I still think it's a great film. I just don't think it's the masterpiece that I once thought it was. But it's still a really, really darn good film. And honestly, one of the best Best Picture winners I've ever seen. Um, I do think it deserved Best Picture. And I'm saying that as a huge fan of Mystic River and Lost in Translation, which also got nominations uh, the same year as that. But guys, what did you think of Lord of the Rings Return of the King? Is it the uh, masterpiece that everyone says it is, or do you feel indifferent to it? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and as always, thank you very much for watching, and uh, again, I'm a huge fan of this film, but sometimes as you get older, you just kind of notice a couple things, and you just kind of have to act on it. So, that said, I'll... Uh, Catch you guys later.